never sure what is going to set me off. I can be shaken by massive and overwhelming topics I can never totally grasp or solve. Or conversely, I could be affected by something seemingly devoid of meaning. A provocation doesn't even have to involve me. In fact, it doesn't even have to be real. When you feel like you're absorbing every possible feeling from every possible source, you feel too full. And you're walking around unsure of how full everyone else is. Interrupting something? No, I was just observing, I guess. I'm Graham. I'm Allison. The trouble with eye contact is that it's so easy to believe that locking eyes somehow also sinks thoughts, that the other participant feels exactly what you feel. And often, you are so off the mark, so far into delusion, and the other person is looking back at you intently, consumed by the thought of a bowl of cereal. We don't know each other. <laughs> Who are you? Uh, what kind of person are you? That's a big question. Uh, I don't really know where to begin. Uh, just start at the beginning. Just go from birth to now. And if you leave out a detail, I'll probably just like walk mm. away. <laughs> yeah. Um, I could tell you some things, um, but then you have to promise to tell me everything about you. Ah, uh, see, I don't think that's gonna work because I'm trying this new thing where I'm super mysterious. Oh. Okay, how's that working out for you? I can't really tell you. Oh God, I just smiled. <laughs> you couldn't even hold it for like a millisecond. <laughs> hey guys. Hey Pete. Hey Teddy Graham. Uh, I'm not trying to mess up your situation or anything, man. I just think um, I'm feeling a little sick and I'm about to get like, not a lot of sick, just a little. Okay, hey, this is this is my roommate, Pete. Hi Pete. Uh, this is Allison. He's drunk, dude. Um, where's Josh? Can Josh take you home? You left, dude. I think I got to, uh, you know, take care of him. We got to do oh, some no, stuff. Oh, of course. Yeah. I like talking to you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, really nice to meet you. Good meeting you. I'm on the verge of actually feeling really good. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, guys, so what are we going to do to sabotage this? Is it as simple as deciding that guy would never go for her or what? What about making her feel bad about her body? Or maybe her skin? We were just feeling bad about our skin last week, remember? I pay attention next time. I know, but I'm just saying that maybe the repetition would make it hurt worse, you know? Like, it could be establishing this pattern that has a big payoff later. Or maybe this time I could just actually get to feel happy. No. no. Okay guys, let's focus. Maybe it's a fear. Maybe it's an insecurity. Maybe it's more of a childhood trauma. What about some kind of peer jealousy stemming from a childhood trauma? I've got it. Panic attack. Yes. <gasps> Duh, yeah, that's of course. Oh Please God, don't do that. I'm in public. Sorry. Please don't make that happen, guys. It's too late. It's already happening. <laughs> do you guys want to go out for ice cream and celebrate, maybe? <laughs> Why do you do this? Why are you doing this? Are emotions getting Why in the way of your dream life? Do you ever down. wish you could press a button and make it all go away? <laughs>
Effectio is an electrical microstimulation system that may be right for you. It's a simple way to override your emotions. For more info... It finally hit me. My brain had been repeatedly betraying me, and there was only one solution. Where is the nearest place I can buy Effectio? There is a pharmacy not too far from here. Would you like directions? <laughs>